Before Urbandale's Ty Langenberg got that life-changing call, the pitcher was stuck in kind of a mediocre season at Iowa. The junior had to make a decision, get mad or get to work. It's a story you can only see on KCCI. Ty Langenberg always knew what he wanted. Growing up, everybody dreams about being a big leaguer. And the Twins fan appeared to be on his way. He was a two-time state champ at Urbandale, and he started his junior year this past year at Iowa as the preseason Big Ten Pitcher of the Year, but... And it was a bumpy start. The first five starts were definitely not up to, you know, I guess my standards. They took me out of the starting role for about a weekend, and we moved, moved me back to the pen so we could hammer out some, uh, some kind of mechanical cues and things like that. Uh, at the time, it kind of seemed a little bit demoralizing to, you know, go from being kind of the guy to, to bump to the back end. But, you know, at the same time, I just kind of had to take it in stride, realize this is what was best for me. Staying positive allowed him to fix his form and complete the season as the Sunday starter. And he was great. He finished 6-3 and three with a 4.15 ERA and 86 strikeouts in 78 innings. And Tuesday... My phone, you know, started ringing. The Major League Draft. Who was on the line? Of course, and my family's going wild. The Minnesota Twins in round 11. Uh, so the whole call, you know, we're kind of laughing at each other because you can hear, you know, my family screaming in the background. It was a dream come true, to say the least. I mean, growing up watching the Twins, you know, going to, to see them as my first big league team, and then, you know, years, years down the road and, you know, a long journey later, I've, I have the opportunity to play for them, so it's pretty crazy. So Ty's training here in Urbandale until Sunday when he heads to Fort Myers to begin his professional journey, which, by the way, could not be laid out any better from a geography standpoint. You know, hopefully have a lot of success, move up to high in Cedar Rapids, and then continue my you know, journey through Wichita and then St. Paul. And you know, hopefully at the end of the journey, I'll end up in Minneapolis with the Twins. That's awesome. We'll be rooting for him. His family is thrilled about those locations. Langenberg tells me he hopes to start playing low single A ball by the end of this current season to get a jump start on his career. Good luck, Ty.